Bosses in Path of Exile 2 come about two major ways. Um, you obviously have the more traditional approach where you create a narrative uh, and you design a boss around that narrative. No noose this time. I'll remove your head myself! The second way, which I think is something that can be very unique and create some of the more interesting encounters is letting the creative genius of our artists do what they need to do. They can come up with something completely abstract um, and this is how you get some of the most awesome things because all of a sudden it can be something with a hundred tentacles or nine limbs or no limbs or a thousand teeth or none and obviously things that aren't even in my imagination. Well, a boss in Path of Exile 2 ultimately is the culmination of decades of experience, making hundreds if not thousands of bosses in its predecessor, taking all that knowledge together and puts it in a package that delivers the best of what could possibly be of boss encounters in an action RPG environment with bosses that are utilizing Souls-like mechanics. Despite the fact there's over a hundred bosses and more to come, a lot more to come, every single boss fight is completely unique, hand animated from scratch, it is designed from scratch, it is balanced from scratch, and it doesn't reuse a single asset in our library or anything like that. One of the main challenges balancing boss fights in Path of Exile 2, especially compared to its predecessor, you have to, in a single attempt, reduce the boss from full life to zero in order to then progress through. Uh, if a player cannot defeat them now, then they're stuck. It is very, very important to us that Path of Exile bosses, mechanics, especially around telegraphing, feels fair to the user, uh, as opposed to them being cheated out of something when they happen to die. We want to make sure that hitboxes are accurate and, of course, when something hits you, it feels like it hits you. It ultimately makes it feel that much more satisfying when you kill it and you feel that much more pride when you are able to overcome something difficult, knowing that the game hasn't robbed you of this thing. At the end of the day, you want to see that healthy balance where some people are struggling and you want to see that moment, that second-hand moment where someone overcomes that challenge and is so happy for doing so. And so I'm looking forward to that.